My name's Grenville Davey, I'm a sculptor and um, since 96 I've been working on commissions with architects, landscape architects, designers, um, I'm making, still making my own work but uh, mostly commissioning based projects. In my third year at college I really discovered the, the workshop and I was workshop shy for a couple of years. I'd do anything but avoid you know, bits of machinery and stuff and um, welding particularly uh, and it just that I got over that and I think there's there's something about other processes a bit I suppose like printmaking as well that take takes it out of your hand and that's where things start to take off um, and I think that was probably really good for me otherwise I might have uh, spent another five years trying to work things out you know um, I got a great deal of pleasure out of making things. I mean, I make most things myself, um, and I think a part of development work, a big part of it, is in messing about in the studio with stuff. 2008, I got a, an Arts Council Award called the Established Artist Award, so I guess I am established. So that's one point. Um, at 53, as I said, I'm working. You know, I've got a fairly health. I've got a very healthy diet actually. I've done work with physicists recently, working with landscape architects, architects on a couple of projects now. Things come in to the frame which are not studio based necessarily. So you have big patches of work working outside the studio, maybe a whole year working in the studio. So uh, I'm fairly free, fairly free agent. Um, I guess this is Great Yeldon. North Essex, a very lovely rural part of Essex and um, I've been here for several years now, about 12 years I think and I landed on my feet with the studio, my farmer's a creative soul and all his family and um, the studio became available first uh, which is called the Tractor Shed which is uh, a concrete box similar to what I had in Brixton, typical studio, concrete box, sink and a wood burning stove, uh, pretty big, reasonably big and um, I moved into this caravan, I think probably about four years ago, uh, which is lovely because it's not like a house. It's like a holiday camp, <laughs> permanent holiday camp, which is great. And my studio is about, what, 150 yards is that? Down, down the yard. So I've got my, basically, all my own gear, mostly power tools and welder. There's a farm workshop here, which is really quite heavy duty stuff if you need it, and lots and lots of space. Um, so it's a typical studio setup you get anywhere really but in a rural setting. I think one of the benefits about living here where there is you know almost complete silence almost but not quite is that you really have to work at maintaining your focus and that's giving you this place is kind of giving you the space to do that even if it takes eight hours you kind of get to the point where things are taking off or happening so that's one real benefit of this place. I think in any studio scenario, you need um, unbroken amounts of time. Here, even though this is kind of rural area, it's got pockets of a, you know, a range of size engineers and stockists, so you can just about get everything that I could get in London in this part of the country. And it's significantly cheaper and the companies are of size largely where you can actually go and talk to them, um, talk things over. I mean, there's a local firm, big big engineering company actually, I've been working with them for years and you can, you can go in and talk to the floor manager, the person who's seeing your work around the, the room. You know, they've got pictures of my sculpture <laughs> up on the wall, <laughs> whereas they would have pin-ups years ago, but you can't do that, do you know what I mean? It's like. They, they engage at that sort of level, so there's, there's, uh, if you want something changed slightly, you can go and actually talk to someone. And I don't do any of that computer-generated drawing stuff at all. Um, I kind of do the maquette work when I need to demonstrate something. Actually, the point where things start to work is through drawing for me. So I, I make drawings all the time. And um, I think that's where it really starts to take off. It's quite interesting that some things are impossible to make but they're drawing, so they're kind of made already. And then I go directly to, to the material. At the moment, I'm doing quite a lot with um, timber. Um, the things that 
uh, we're in the studio around things for the Olympic Park. I've got a local wood turner who makes most of those kind of things. There's some objects indoors I did for Isaac Newton Institute which have turned wood. So I don't do that myself, but um, that's something I like to get farm out to other people. Some glass, uh, but mostly steel. The thing about steel is it's quite, it's quite plastic. So you can work with it really quickly and if you're welding you can stick it together, take it apart. So it's actually, once you get used to it, it's like working with paper and scissors, which, which is great because it's really fast. And then usually I work on three or four things at the same time. So you can start to sort of build a carcass or something quite quickly. So you plan to get something visible by the end of the day, whatever it is. So it's a speed I like, but then um, after a while there's a kind of in inherent sort of stress in it as well. I think the f first three or four pieces I made for the first show at Listen were all pairs of objects. And um, I've always made pairs of objects. And now I'm back with the physicist, mathematicians, uh, making pairs or groups of related objects. So I've kind of come full circle. Somebody said to me recently, I see you back to circles again, you know, after, yeah, okay. So I had a sort of stray period, but back to this kind of dual role of um, ob you know, objects have. Uh, so I'm still looking at, I'm still looking into similar kinds of things, but 20 odd years later. So that's basically where I start out, I think. Things take quite a long time. Uh, I guess, uh, you know, you, you come to terms with that. If you're thinking of working, say, with landscape architects on a 15-year project, you know, I'm working on something now where I reckon it's going to maybe take two years. So just get used to the idea that some things that are of an ambitious scale or involve a lot of people take a lot longer. The Olympic Park project wasn't programmed to last from 2008 to 2012. It just panned out as a long-term job with lots of facets. So I think it's coming to terms with that. When I make stuff, I want to get it done today. But you know, when I'm working on it myself, I put those kind of expectations for things to happen by the end of every day. But in other kind of types of working, I suppose, where you're kind of working with a lot of people, for example, things take time and they're kind of negotiated. So coming to terms with that. And, um, it's a question that comes up, I guess, from students sometimes is that, okay, you know, you're going to expect delays. I don't tolerate it myself in the studio because I'm in charge totally. You know what I mean? It's different. But getting used to shifting your head is quite important, I think.